Hello that Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is Abby. You are on Rogue Pisces Tarot, and I am here to give you your daily Pisces reading. So, I'm using the Muse Tarot and the Lightseers Tarot. These are still my favorites right now. So you could be a Pisces yourself. You might be dating a Pisces, crushing on a Pisces, married to a Pisces, friends with a Pisces. You know, it's no matter. And I don't care if you are here for serious guidance or entertainment or comfort or community. Whatever it is, you're welcome, okay? As long as everyone's respectful in the comments, you are welcome to stay. So, if this reading ends up not being for you, Pisces... Feel free to go back and check out some of the other readings that have been put up. They are timeless, okay? So if the title or the cards shown in the in the thumbnail especially, this is pretty quick. If the cards shown in the thumb what the heck? They just like can't wait to talk to you today, Pisces. <laughs> Okay, so if the cards in the thumbnails look like they call to you in some way, then go ahead and watch them. I try to make sure that the sort of most um, important cards get um, focused on in the thumbnails. We have at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So some sort of truth, some kind of victory, some kind of epiphany coming in for you here, Pisces. Could have to do with yourself or someone around you okay in today's energy we have the hermit and the four of pentacles so there's some virgo energy with this earth sign taurus virgo capricorn energy so a sort of um could be a guru type no i'm not getting that so much this looks like some of you are really sort of um, protecting yourselves, sort of drawing your energy in and really considering everything you've learned, really considering um, what and who you want to spend your energy on right now could be doing yeah there's a transformation afoot for you here Pisces death card Scorpio energy some of you could be experiencing some significant change when it comes to money and spending and stability the four of pentacles is here so that's a card of um, stability in the material world it can also be about sort of thrift about blocking in a way because it's like a it's like a really tight hold on onto your physical world your reality and your stability hmm just, they just want to keep popping this is nuts okay we have king of where am i here okay so some of you could also be Coming to the end of a lone, of sort of a lonely period, um, finding that you are starting to crave more human interaction and contact. So some of you, the transition is going into hermit mode, and others it's coming out. Right, I'm feeling for more of you. It's probably starting to come out. There's a lot of focus. This feels very much the uh, this sort of birthing imagery is really pointing out to me this moth kind of coming up out of the cocoon is something brand new something transformed that's a big old chunk spirit okay and today's theme we have the two of wands and the three of pentacles so there's collaboration there's really wanting to work together with people with this three of pentacles energy and then we have now that i'm done shuffling okay we have queen of swords at the bottom of the deck 
This is so gorgeous. And then we have the Awakening card and the Nine of Cups. I swear we had these in another spread not too long ago. Okay, so this is collaboration and adventure, plans. Where am I gonna go? Who am I gonna share my plans with? How am I gonna pull this off, you know? Um, now for some of you, obviously what's going on right now around the world with restrictions and such might be making this a bit of a pain. Um, other places, if you're lucky enough to be in a on a continent um, far enough away from everybody that um, you're able to reopen, probably a lot easier. Uh, there are ways, though, that you can collaborate. This, there's some logic coming in here with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords being um, sort of bubbling underneath the surface. So this is a lot of planning that goes along with this, that sort of planning and wondering how far you'll go and the realization of how much there is, right, when you zoom out to see the big picture. Some of you, I feel, are also coming into an understanding because you've spent time alone you've spent time in this hermit mode you spent time protecting yourself and your energy maybe you've been working on you know some of your your own issues as a person and you're starting to kind of come up out of the chrysalis a little bit starting to feel uh different in the way that you view yourself and your goals i feel like some of you are it's this more expansive view it's really nice having just like wanting to be more adventurous with people wanting to be more adventurous with your collaborations and friendships i'm using a lot of this beautiful kind of discernment this logic okay just gorgeous epiphanies epiphanies a popping and right underneath that like look at this we have the Awakening and the Hanged Man, Pisces. It's like y'all are just waking up. Waking up. This is gorgeous. And it's probably happening a crack at a time. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen one of those time lapses of like a butterfly or um, a moth or something coming up out of its chrysalis. How long it takes. It takes a while, you know. They're in that sort of suspended animation like the Hanged Man for a really long time as they kind of break down and then build back up again, right? So it's sort of like a little crack and a little crack and a little crack until they finally get to come out. We have in today's challenge the Priestess or High Priestess and Three of Cups. So this is Pisces energy right here, as far as I am concerned, and the Three of Cups energy. It's interesting that there's a three in the theme with this sort of collaboration in the material world. And then there's a challenge of emotional collaboration, right? Of reconciliation, of friendship, of coming together sharing so this feels like it's probably uncomfortable because it's brand new and it looks like a lot of you are likely because we have death present we have the hermit present there's a lot of um, intuitive energy that's been sort of kicked up in your being okay starting to feel more fully through situations um, a little differently and starting to understand probably the difference between anxiety caused by thoughts or um, past experiences and then expectations and all of that kind of stuff to what your actual inner intuition is. I feel like more of you are dialing into that. And that's really nice. Now, could be, this is a Pisces card for me, um, you could be having a challenge with a friendship or a, um, a reconciliation with a fellow Pisces or even with yourself. The Three of Cups to me uh, can sometimes be a card of, of like overindulgence on the, when it's at its best, right? The Three of Cups is celebration, 
it's coming together, it's a beautiful sense of community, it's friendship, it's going out and meeting new and interesting people. When it's challenging, it can mean that our our friendships are maybe, you know, experiencing some sticking points. Um, it can also be a card for me of fair weather friends. So you might be examining your friendships, you might be having some intuitive sort of downloads about the nature of your friendships and what they're actually based on. Are they equal? Is it reciprocal? Are people in it for the right reasons? Does someone only ever call you when they need a ride and they need $20? You know what I mean? Um, I think there's been a lot more of that kind of assessment because the high priestess knows their worth, right? They've, they've come out of the hermit mode and they're you know, kind of blessed with all of this knowledge and has realized I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. I've looked at everything. I've looked at my material world. I've looked at my values. I've looked at um, my energy and where I spend it. And I've learned a lot about myself. And now I'm taking that forward, right? That feels like that there. Beautiful. And suggested course, Pisces. We have the nine of pentacles materials and the king of cups this is gorgeous this is really nice okay so this could be for some of you i'm getting the nine of materials being related to self-care um nine of materials is often a card of like an independent person, right? Someone who is financially set, they're generous, they're able to take care of themselves and others if necessary, but they're kind of unattached, you know? Um, they're, they're pretty well set. And then we have this king, this king of water, this king of cups, who's just trying to zen out, you know? Just trying to feel their way through it. There's this sort of... Um, control, emotional control coming in. This feels to me like Pisces being um, being contemplative is absolutely good. Uh, but I think you also, some of you really need to learn to enjoy the accomplishments that you've made so far, how far you've come when others haven't managed to, you know, the ways that you've managed to succeed. Even if it isn't exactly what you thought it would look like or um, what you had planned, right? I know this isn't what I had planned, <laughs> like for real. So um, life takes us in funny kind of places and sometimes it's like you don't always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you need, right? This is nice. So bringing your emotions sort of like zen-like. This is like maybe just a little too much on the emotional control. Allow yourself to feel proud of where, like how far you've come, Pisces. This could also talk about an independent person, all right, and a an older water sign or more mature, I guess a mature spirit water sign. Um, could be that you really want to show this person your independence and how happy you are, where you are, how free you are. And it could be that this is an accomplishment for you for some reason. It could also be that it is someone who's like in your cheering section, you know? For some of you, it could even be a parent or a business partner, someone that you want to kind of show them that you're getting it together, right? Maybe in a way that's a little bit different than before. You're vibrating on a little bit different frequency. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have Two of Swords. And we have the Muse of Cups, which is the King of Cups in this deck. So King of Cups again. All right, so for some of you, this could be 
this water sign energy. This is in wrapping up past energies and emotions. So for some of you, there needs to be um, an end to some indecision regarding this person, okay? So if it's a should they stay or should they go, uh, you or, you know, how you're going to communicate or if you want to communicate, um, you need to make an assessment of that because for some of you, just the stress of trying to figure out what to do with this um, might be holding you back in some way. For others, you could be considering the different lands that you kind of want to go to, right? And the things that really draw in your heart that make you feel like a loving, um, make you feel loving and inspired, that make you feel in charge of your life, that make you feel like you kind of walk through a room and cut the air in such a way that everybody kind of notices you energetically. Um, there are certain things you're coming towards, Pisces, that are going to require choice. Now this choice is all in the mind space because it's a swords card, right? This is all to do with things like outlook, thoughts, um, the way that you, your attitudes towards different things, right? So there could be that it's a consideration of how to view this connection, um, where to place the importance of it in your life, whether or not you want to focus on it or not. Very interesting. I'm going to go to the end now. We have beautiful. So in the key to tomorrow, we have the star Aquarius energy and the king of pentacles, earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A lot more people in here than usual, Pisces. This is interesting to me. The King of Pentacles, okay, so you could have an Aquarius around you. Let me make sure that you can see these, sorry. Crystals in the way, typical hippie. Okay, so King of Pentacles here with this Aquarian star energy. So could have an Aquarius around you. There could be an earth sign Aquarius kind of match going on. For others of you, it's kind of about like finding your way to shine. Do you see how both of these cards have this imagery of just like being beams just emanating? from the mind space, allowing yourself to shine and be like grounded in it. The King of Pentacles is very easy and grounded in everything that they have. Um, they know what they have. I tend to think of like the King of Pentacles, a lot of the time I get this image of like baskets and the baskets are all full of the things that the King of Pentacles has worked for. And now that he has all of the things and he's built all of the wealth and he's built this generational legacy, uh, he gets to just kind of relax back, right? He gets to recline with his loyal dog in his library and just gets to whenever they feel like it, pick out the things from the different baskets, the accomplishments that they're going to be thinking about, whether it's enlightenment that they gained through education, which doesn't always have to be traditional education. It doesn't always mean going to an institution of learning. It can for many of us, but reading, listening to podcasts, um, listening to books on tape <laughs> or, or audible or whatever it is that you happen to like to get your information from. Um, it could be investments in the physical world. It could be investment properties. It could be um, the investments that someone has made in sort of like their own emotional wellness that they're going to pass on to their next generation, you know, and help support them so that it something carries on forward. As the King of Pentacles lives in King of Pentacles land, 10 Pentacles are what he has and what he knows 
and where he lives. There's a lot of healing. Focus on healing going forward. Continue this energy. Like if you are starting to come out of that chrysalis, um, just remember to check in with yourself from time to time, all right? You may be figuring out a new way to balance this sort of logic and discernment, this sort of cool assessment, and bring it down to earth, okay? Bring it out of the mind space and into the 3D. Your intuition looks like it's kind of popping right now, Pisces, which is very, very nice. Mm hmm. Some of you could be having an epiphany about one of these signs. There's a lot of court cards in here, a lot of sort of people represented and a lot of emotions. Could be doing a lot of that reasoning, right, on how to deal with these emotions. The king or the muse, right, of emotions tends to... It's a lot of restraint to me. It isn't like... Um, anguished or anything it tends to just be just someone who will love you deeply but never really tell you what do we have here for these pisces today spirit one under the table for good measure Ooh, we have ultimate love forgive others and yourself release the past Send love and light. Change your inner to change your outer. And this is, you know, no doubt it's a mirror, right? It's a mirror. Sometimes we have to stop and we have to reflect. It looks like a lot of you have been in that kind of energy and now wanting to come out of it. Let's see, what do we have here? Growing success. Beautiful. Abundance, generosity, be excited, stay on path. Improvement manifesting in affluence. Totally, totally this King of Pentacles energy of, you know, maybe you've had to kind of cut things down to bare bones, be very thrifty. Keep that through and think about the end goals, right? Don't, you know, never have fun ever again. Don't never allow yourself to um, spend money on a nice meal or treat someone to a gift. But like, uh, hone it in. Make it more useful. Make it more purposeful. Um, we also have visualization. See yourself achieving the highest possible outcome. Experience and feeling the details. This feels like this very collaborative, adventurous energy here. And this this nine of, of pentacles just kept being like, be proud of yourself and see yourself. See yourself there, Pisces. This is very, very nice. Okay. So, where's all my other cards? Check the time. All right. It's the Rebel deck. It's my favorite. I know not everybody likes the Rebel deck. But I feel like this thing talks to me like my best friend. <laughs> it makes me listen a lot better so if they're for you take them as if any message in a general reading let it go if you don't like it we have get the fuck outside move your ass your body is pissed at you i can feel this one i had a headache for two days and then i went for a walk outside and i was right as rain all that fresh air so good we have put the fucking phone down too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. See, this is this kind of closed off energy here and coming into this Three of Pentacles collaboration. Having maybe some challenges, sure, with the friendships and picking them up. And some of that's logistical, okay? Some of that might be COVID. Some of you haven't had a hug from your best friend in months and it hurts. It's horrible, okay? Um, but, you know, try to find some creative ways Try to see a human face, even if you end up just, you know, <laughs> standing down the, the sidewalk from each other, shouting about the day. <laughs> Do something to connect. We have stop obsessing. You're not the center of the fucking universe. I beg to differ on most days, but that's a nice reminder. We have take a shot. 
don't take 12, take one, okay, maybe two, and move on. Okay, so try something you haven't tried before. Get outside of your comfort zone a little bit. Try to meet some new and interesting people. We have love. Get some, give some. It'll cheer your ass up. Just gorgeous. I love it. Okay. I'll give you one of these archetype cards because I love them. So these are sort of personality traits or, or people types um, that you might run into, that you might have in you that need to be thought of or considered. You might want to think about how interactions with people like this have affected you at some point or another, Pisces. They're really nice to reflect on. So... Can we please, Spirit, have a card for our Pisces that are watching? What kind of people, what kind of traits, what kind of archetypes do they need to be mindful of right now? Okay. What did we get? The student. Okay, I like these cards. Some of you who are familiar, you know that they have a light attribute and a shadow attribute. So they talk about this kind of energy at its best and at its worst, okay? So the student, the light attributes are humility and devotion to knowledge and openness to lifelong learning, okay? The shadow attributes are arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge and unwillingness to translate knowledge into action. Interesting. I'm going to see if there's anything different in here. The student suggests not an absence of mastery, but rather a continual pursuit of intellectual development. Has found a source of teaching such as a guru or a spiritual master who has become the instructor and the spiritual guide. The shadow student usually manifests in tandem with the shadow teacher or the mentor. We had the mentor a little while ago, okay? Avidly learning all the tools of the wrong trade or misusing the knowledge learned. May never move beyond the student role to develop their independent inner wisdom. Look for a pattern of constant learning, openness to new information as an essential part of your well-being. Interesting. Okay, so are there ways, Pisces? What kind of a student are you? Are you a humble student? Does learning something new make you feel like you know better than others? Do you then project that onto other people? Does that make it easier or better for others to absorb that information? Um, an unwillingness to translate all knowledge into action. So reading and reading or listening and listening and learning and learning and certificates, but always, you know, not turning it into anything. Um, trying to transform it into action, real world things, real help, real um, commerce, real passion, real relationships, real, real anything, okay? This could be in you, this could be in the people around you. Devotion to knowledge is a wonderful thing. Lifelong learning is fabulous. I'm a huge fan. Um, and then I can, I can understand too, because I've had times in my life where I was very, I know in my younger years, when I was first in university, there's nothing I loved more than coming home and telling my dad how, he, how wrong he was. <laughs> about one thing or another, you know what I mean? Uh, let's see. So, I mean, that's pretty, it's an interesting one to reflect on. All right, so we got the Y card. It did a little dance, but it did land in the upright. So I'm going to give you from the Wisdom of the Oracle, number 31. All right, I'm gonna to try to hold this still. We have essential meanings, motives driving intention, the power of knowing the why. The Oracle's message says there's great power in understanding your motives right now. The Oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question, looking for this answer, behaving in this way, and most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it, your intention will then be a magnet for miracles. 
Motives define the nature of your experience when you think about something, feel it, and then act on it. This invisible why is the life force energy within the seed, which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. Hmm. Okay, usually I just do the prosperity message. But I'm being called to read the relationship message, so I'm going to do it. We don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way we do. Mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you're being triggered by someone else, or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this? And why did I say that? and spend some time in introspection, the answers may be surprising. Listen to the messages from your intuition, from the knowing deep within you. What does it tell you about yourself and others? In the end, life is all about being loved. Miracles and a deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are the buried treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself and your partner today. Why? That's very nice, Pisces. I liked this one. Okay, I hope you got something out of it. I hope this helped you to reflect on something or process something that you're going through. And I hope I'll see you again. Please, if one of the messages resonated for you, hit the thumbs up. Uh, do your girl a favor and help this circulate so more people can see it and benefit from it. Even if not all the messages were for you, they might be for someone else and they might really need them. If you subscribe, if you haven't already, I do these every single day for Pisces. And again, if this wasn't yours, feel free to go on back and take a look at some of the others, okay? Take care of yourselves and each other, and I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye now.